All right, hello, fellow quarter. Welcome back to this next lesson in our Fresh Votes series. Uh, so in this one, we want to have the ability to close or rather hide uh, the comment boxes when we click the reply button, right? Because otherwise they just keep on opening up and it gets a little bit... Uh, a little bit crazy, if you will. Let me move my microphone towards me. There we go. So, uh, yeah, how do we do that? Well, that's going to be a, uh, a matter of uh, JavaScript. So JavaScript is what we will need to use to obviously make um, this page interactive. We started with this concept here where we had the um, clicking, right? So we, had, we used jQuery to do... Uh, trigger some code when uh, we click on the reply button. So what I need to do here is I need to uh, close all the other ones when I click on um, a button. So really when I say other ones, technically this code here is going to unhide the form that we clicked on. So really what we can do is we could just hide all forms, right? We can just say, hey, um, get me uh use a selector to select all of the buttons right um on our screen oh uh, is this right i want to select the forms so i want to do this guy right because this is the one that actually unhides the form the form id comes from reply form hyphen the yeah so basically i need to do a, a, an each uh kind of like a, a for each loop through each of the buttons and um, not the buttons, but the, the forms that the buttons are inside of. And how do I get that? Well, I, I just do the exact same thing, right? Um, I grab the comment ID and the form ID, and then I essentially do this, right? So you can tell that this code is kind of repetitive, right? Um, here, I want to, I want to say, well, I want to add a class, but I only want to add it if it doesn't already exist. And I can't remember if this logic works or not. So first, let's just make it work, and then we'll make it pretty. Okay, that's pretty much um, the whole, more or less, test-driven development methodology. So if I click on Reply, it shows up. If I click on Reply here, ah, see? So the code works, right? As we click on Reply throughout the different ones, it's hiding. Um, which is good. That's what we want to have happen. But the code isn't very, you know, quote unquote sexy. We have um, very much some duplicated code here and here. The only difference is one adds and one removes. So, um, you know, we can probably extract this code uh, for grabbing a uh, the actual form ID because that's essentially what we need to grab from here. So we could extract that into a function. Um... And then, is there any way to make this, you know, quote unquote, sexier? When we click on one, it has to iterate through each of the other buttons. Uh, technically, we only need to uh, do execute uh, uh, some sort of functions on ones that are um, not hidden, right? So technically, we're doing a little bit too much here. We're 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 over. Uh, extending ourselves in terms of, you know, we're, we're, we're doing too much work here. So uh, we're doing repetitive stuff that doesn't need to happen. So let's try and see if we can edit our selector to uh, narrow in to filter out the ones that aren't, uh, that are hidden, because if they are hidden, we don't need to worry about them. So how can we do that? Um, hmm. The button... Is there a way to do that with a selector? We want a button whose parent form is not hidden. So it, in other words, it it doesn't contain the class D none. Oh man, I think that's kind of hard to do with a selector. Um, <laughs> well, we can select by class. We can do dot D none right, that will select by class, but we kind of want to do the opposite of that. We want to select where they don't have that class. So is there is there a way to do it like a negative selector, negative selector jQuery? I can't remember if that's possible. Not, yes, so there, there you go, not selector. Um, 
Um, where do they use the not? What? The, in, am I crazy? In the example, I don't. They don't even use the not in the example. In oh, here we go. Input not checked. Okay. Um, so okay. So we could say. Uh, can we say not d none? I feel like that's not how it's it's used, or at least how not how it should be used. Well, we'll see. So there's more to this though, right? So we want to grab the buttons, but then we also, uh, more, more specifically, we want to grab the forms, right? So is there a way to identify, instead of grabbing the buttons, can we just grab the forms? Because life would be a lot easier if we could just grab these forms. So form group, rows, text area, um, I guess it's the button that has, no, form, oh, here you go, form ID. Yeah, reply form. Button, where the ID is reply button. Yeah, okay, so hold on. Hold on here. How are we going to do this? So what I want to do is I want to select a form, which is the ID is reply form. So form where the ID is like reply form, right? And not the none. Hmm. I wonder if that'll work. I don't think it will. I've never seen it written like that before. Let's refresh the page. Okay, and click on, okay. Oh my God, did that work? How is that working? Okay, so okay, let's uh, let's not get too too excited. So let me do a console log here and actually log the uh, the form ID. So form ID. Oops. Let's use the let's use the what we call it format here. Uh, form ID uh, is now being hidden okay so that way we can see every single form id that we're actually hiding just so we can see if we're doing too much or too little work so if i click reply here it shouldn't say anything in the console right and if i click reply here it should only say that it's hiding one thing my god reply form one is now being hidden and i know this is going to be like reply form two or something two is now being hidden Nine is being hidden, 13, holy cow, look at that. That's how you optimize your code, baby. <laughs> so, magical stuff with jQuery selectors. So, yeah, there, there, there could have been another way that I could have potentially done that, and my line of thought was, you know, you, you use a selector to grab the button that's nested inside of the form, and then you move up to the parent object that's housing the button so that probably would have been the form and then from there you add the not uh selector on the d none to say it does not contain this class um and then you know go through them and and for each of them hide stuff so that i believe that might be possible I, i'm pretty sure there's a way to go to the parent so uh, in inside of uh, jQuery, you can say jQuery parent uh, selector. Yeah, dot parent, right? So you, I could have just said, um, so here's the dot parent, right? So you have a selector and then you do dot parent and then you do something else on it. So I could have done that. I, I could have said, uh, you know, button, whatever. Well, no, cause I want to do dot each. So I would have done, well, that's that's a little bit, that might have been tricky because I want to do an each on the parents. So that, that might have been tricky. Uh, I don't know if that would have worked. But in, in any case, I said, why am I doing this? I, you know, I, I don't want to select the button and then go up to the, par uh, the parent, the form. Why don't I just select the form, right? You always have the option to add uh, an ID anywhere you like. So if you didn't have an ID here, just add one. So uh, there you go. So I grabbed the form by ID and I said where it does not have the class D none, go through each of them and do work the magic, right? So there we go. We got that uh, working quite nicely. I'm, uh, let me refresh and I just got rid of the co the uh, console logger 
because I don't want to clutter up the console. And there you go. It's 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 working as I expected it to work. So I guess now in the next uh, step that we need to do is we potentially need to change the action um, such that it passes in the right value. Uh, right? Uh, let me think. So... Yeah, because when we click add comment, we wanted to actually not add a root level comment. We wanted to add uh, the an appropriate comment in terms of, um, you know, this this comment or this, yeah, the comment that we're about to leave will be nested inside of this comment. So we need to grab this comment's ID and, and properly uh, populate the object there. So there's, there's some stuff that we're going to have to do here to make it work properly. Also, I'm seeing that we have two... Uh, CSRFs inside of the form for some reason. Uh, interesting. So I have one here. And then inside of fragments comment, uh, comment fragment, do we have, am I putting in too many of the CSRFs? Where is the, here's the CSRF token. I potentially am putting those in twice. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that in the next video. But uh, yeah, we want to make sure that when we type in a comment here and say add comment, it doesn't just add it as a root level comment, it actually adds it as a, uh, a child of this parent. So um, we'll, go, we'll get into that in the next video. Can't wait to see you there. Take care of yourself. Happy learning and bye for now.